Central 94.1. It is Corey, Big Party Morning Show hanging out. Big Party Hello. Jeff DeGan and Molly. Hey. And I would like to welcome our very special guest to the Channel 94.1 studios, Lady Gaga. Hey, Corey. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? What brings you to Nebraska this visit? Well, I shot my uh, new music video here. That's right, for In you Springfield. and Springfield. How yeah. hot was it when you were out there? Oh, my God. I've got to tell you, I don't think, uh, as much as I've traveled, I don't think there's anything hotter than being <laughs> in a cornfield in Nebraska. <laughs> you know, it's funny because there are people that were uh, actually, uh, you know, we got emails that, that were waiting outside in the cornfield for up to 24 hours just to see a glimpse of you. It was so sweet because, yeah. you know, I looked out at first in the corn. It's so beautiful, that tall corn. I mean, it really has a life of its own. And I was looking out into the distance, and it was all green just for miles and miles and then all of a sudden you started to see these cute little uh, monsters popping up in these little clusters. <laughs> I said children of the corn is real now. It's monsters of the corn. All right, we got Lady Gaga in studio live. Well, welcome back to Omaha. We just got to hit a couple things real fast. Luke Carl, you guys back together? What's the deal with that? Because oh, well, you're back in town. I don't talk about that stuff, you but I, I will it? say that um, I've written a lot of music about him. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's like your muse. He's like Yes, for many years. And I so, just didn't know since you're back, you know, maybe you had a friend with you while you were visiting. Well, I've got tons of friends here in Nebraska, so it's been really nice to see them. We had a barbecue the other day. Did you? Yeah, we did. Fun! Yeah, did Budweiser mean? only. The, all the light beer was hidden away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I had pulled pork sandwiches and passed out. I thought I said you all drugged me. Yeah. With well, pulled pork. I can't believe you ate pulled I mean, you're such a tiny little thing. I mean, it's like, God bless you for eating, eating pulled pork. I love it. Well, it was sort of like, you know, when you feed a baby formula and then they pass out. That's kind of what it was like. It was instantaneous. I needed a nap. We got Lady Gaga on Channel 94. One. Uh, let's see. You were back in uh, town this Christmas for a little while. Uh, how long were you in town for uh, when, when you are back here? Uh, back in December? Um, when I come back here? Yeah. Um, well, g gosh, I think I'll be back in December uh, uh, to do some shows. Okay. Um, uh, but I'm going to be uh, traveling and uh, performing and uh, hopefully you'll be playing my my, my Nebraska theme song. Uh, I, I love it. Absolutely. I love Great this place song. so much. And it really comes from a genuine place. You know, uh, I uh, the person who I wrote the song about has been my uh, my buddy and best friend since I was 19 years old. So, uh, and he's oh, from here. So yeah. uh, it really comes from a real place. And I, I love this, uh, this state so much. And you give a really cool kind of tribute to Nebraska at the end of the song. Is there anything that, like, sticks out from, from your guy... That, uh, that about Nebraska? Like, is there any kind of quality that makes him stick out your sweet Nebraska guy? Uh, well, actually, what some people don't know about me is that my mom and her whole family is from West Virginia. Okay. And um, for whatever reason, I feel a lot of uh, uh, similarities and um, sort of the warmth and the hospitality of mm -hmm. all my friends here in Nebraska. Uh, so uh, I guess the song sort of comes from a place of me not just loving this state, but loving the people that come from here and feeling a connection between Nebraska and my family back in West Virginia. That's oh, very nice. That's so sweet. Well, you caused quite a stir, stir the last week. You know, you were out there filming, but then the house... This, the house that they're building that they attributed to you. Have you heard so, about that at Have all you yet? heard about this at all? There's no. a rumor saying that there's a house that you're actually moving to Omaha. Oh, no, that's not true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. Yeah. That's so, not true. It's funny because people Whoever's been, building that house, that poor guy, he must just be so mad. <laughs> people have been going through his house and uh, everything thinking it's your house. Oh, like, no. You know, and the guy's like, please, just let me live. <laughs> no, I'm just a wandering artistic vagabond. <laughs> Beautiful. Because it's got like a 15-car garage. If anything, you'll see me in a in a tent with my with my dress on in the middle of the corn somewhere. Oh, very nice. You picked the absolute hottest week to come to Nebraska to film your video. I saw a picture um, on the internet last week of you like running down a gravel road, you know, near Springfield or whatever. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel so bad for her right now because this is the hottest week you could possibly be in this, in this part of the state. And then the last time you were here, it was like the coldest point you could possibly be in Nebraska. Sometime you got to come back in like spring or fall because we do have actually comfortable temperatures here, believe it or well, not. Well, it was actually <laughs> kind of perfect the way it all worked out because um, the premise of the video is that I've walked all the way from New York City oh, oh, to okay. Nebraska to get him back. So, and I've only... I'm, only, I'm walking with no luggage, no nothing. It's just me, and my, my ankles are kind of bleeding a little bit, and there's there's uh, grass stuck in my shoes, and I've got this outfit on, and, uh, you know, it's a real sort of New York clothing. It's yeah. kind of woolly, and, um, 
uh, and I'm sprinting down. So you're uh, actually feel, feeling the pain as you're, as yeah, you're filming and this I, video and then. And, I'm, and, and, you know, the idea that when you're away from someone that you love, that it's torture. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. It's it's a very powerful and, and, and awful and strange feeling when you're away from the person that you love. And I, I knew that I wanted the video to be about me sprinting back and walking hundreds of thousands of miles uh, to get him back. We're, we're all still looking for that woman that would actually sprint across the street for us out of love. Well, yeah, I'm, keep... I'm that woman. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga, what do you... I'll uh, do anything yeah? for a pulled pork sandwich. Yeah. And <laughs> <on the cob. laughs> Where do you get your outfits from? Um, all over. Uh, some are from, you know, friends of mine that are designers that have been around for a long time. Uh, but I also like to wear a lot of really young designers uh, who haven't had the spotlight on them yet. And I try to find young talent and wear as much of it as I can. Oh, very nice. Very, very Do you ever just have a day where it's seriously just like, I just want to put sweats on? Like, I want to wear flats and sweats and hide and put my hair in a scrunchie and just, just hide. Well, I there's... There's nothing wrong with scrunchies. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm wearing one right now. Well, I will say that during the barbecue, I wore a Huskers t-shirt. So, yeah, really? Yes. Uh, so I guess that's about as as um, as uh, casual I get. All right. We got Lady Gaga in studio live. Lady Gaga, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, we're not getting rid of you yet. Uh, uh, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, that was really tragic. Well, what about that? Oh, well, did did you, have you ever had a chance to meet her? No, I never got to meet her. Um, I think sometimes we were in the same... Uh, place, but um, gosh, I'm real devastated about it. Yeah, I mean, you guys sure you guys are both Grammy winners, female pop artists. And it's not really that. I just um, I really remember being in New York, and I was with Lady Starlight, um, who is also friends with a lot of the people I know here in Nebraska. And she and I were in uh, Dwayne Reed. Okay. In New York City, we <laughs> yep. were shopping for eyelashes and glue. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like at you Dwayne, do. At Dwayne Reed. There's no Avon ladies in New York. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you know, I just remember I saw her on the cover of Rolling Stone, and it was her first cover. And I always felt, you know, kind of like an outsider in, in pop music and, you know, just from high school. And I remember she looked over at me and she said, if, if she can do it, you can do it. Oh, wow. And uh, so I, I always felt uh, like Amy had opened a door uh, for girls uh, like me uh, who didn't fit that exact, you know, real pop mold, and real wholesome. Uh, she was really special. And, yeah, she was. Um, and she's going to be greatly missed. Yeah, she was. Tragic to hear that. I couldn't even believe it. Uh, you know, it just seemed like, uh, like you know, that maybe other people could help her a little bit more so. I don't know. You know, so. All right, I'm bringing down the room just a tiny bit. It's yeah. okay. It's okay to mourn. Now, the Lady Gaga, I know you're a fan of Queen, I would assume. Oh, yes. Is big fan. Actually, actually, with the Radio Gaga. Uh, uh, you and I, uh, Brian May from yeah. Queen, he's playing the guitar on that Is song. It? Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. So that's got to be fun. Yes, and Mutt Lang. Uh, it was such a funny story, actually. Mutt, who I'm a huge fan of, uh, I didn't know who was, should produce the song. Um, and I, you know, wrote it on my parents' piano uh, back in New York, uh, real sad one day. And I actually recorded the vocals here in Nebraska at a local uh, studio uh, where a bunch of my friends' bands all record their music. And um, I just remember uh, the people I work with at Interscope were saying, so who do you want to produce this song? And I kept saying, I think maybe I'll do it, but I don't really know. I feel like it needs someone who really has been around for a long time who can translate the soulfulness of the record so um i said well my real dream would be mont lang and uh i called him up and he was like oh yeah you're absolutely and he was so nice and so sweet and he loved the song so so much and i just remember he was said oh well, i'm just sent you a demo over and you can check it out but there's no guitars on it yet so um you know if you could just take a listen see if you like it and i'm uh, my guitar player brian is coming in later this week to finish it up and uh and i'll send that back over to you see what you think and uh, so i got off the phone and i asked my manager i said could you just do me a favor and find out the last name of that brian <laughs> that he was talking about and she looked over at me and she said, it's, um, let me see, emails, Blackberry, mm, it's Brian May. <laughs> and I just, I put my shoes on and I ran all around that arena. I just remember, I forget where we were, I think. Yeah. And I just remember, we I ran all around the arena, clear all the way around. I just was screaming, Brian May is on my song, Brian May is on my song. I was so happy. <laughs>
Well, let's do this. Let's uh, take a quick break. We're going to play the song right here, You and I. Is that okay? Yeah, please. I'd love right. to. I can't wait to hear it on the radio. Oh, sounds it's my great. my first time. All right, here we oh. go. This is Lady Gaga's brand new It's You and I on Channel 94.1.